Ladies and gentlemen, Jank Nation, we're back here with another video. This is another exciting episode of Fighting Game Gyms. I know we haven't done this in a long time. I've been meaning to do this, but I feel like today's the perfect time because today was a release of one of my games I've been waiting for for a while, Dojo Madden. For those who don't know who this game is, this game literally just came out today, maybe like five or ten minutes, like an hour ago. So, um, this game, if you remember the old school karate game, I think it was called Karate Master for the NES. It was like a 2v2, I mean, a, no, 1v1 um, fighting karate-based game, and you basically knock each other out. It was a really sort of complex fighting game in the one. One of the early fighting games a lot of people don't think about, but this game takes that and takes it to the, to the next level. This game has rollback Neko, which is amazing. Great gameplay. I played like at least a 30 minutes of this game without even doing the train mode. This game is built different and and soon and i'm going I have to, everyone wants to play this i, I want to let you see first so i'll play like one or two matches and then we'll get into like how the game actually plays because this game is crazy so the way it works to let you know there's different fight styles there's karate there's muay thai um krav maga which i think is really cool that's even in the game um kendo taekwondo and boxing and each one of these classes our characters or different styles of martial arts have their own way of fighting, some with advantage and disadvantage. And it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors form based on who does what better in certain characters, but certain characters capitalize on certain things. And there's even pairing in this game. If I let you see a match for yourself, I'm going to do boxing, because that's probably one of my favorite ones. I'll do it versus, I don't know, karate. Let's see how it works. So you can pick your, your the way it looks, um, the skin tone, color of the glove, the pants, all that stuff. Depending on which character it is. This game looks crazy. You 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 just gotta see it. works from what i can tell there's a gauge at the bottom right which is your health gauge but that also determines the number of times you can attack so there's certain moves in the game depending on how you hit them you might have saw them flipped out like in smash you know you hit the ground you tag if you hit a certain button at the right time you can take out that includes grabs and things of that nature when you fly out of it you have your health bar but here's the crazy thing is the match is not over till your health is all the way down so even though you get knocked down in the game that don't mean the match is over it just resets your position which is kind of cool, in a sense. I'll do it, and now I'll do it. See, I have four lives, too. Look, he's down, but look, the match is not over. See? He tech, now he can't take no more. So now all he can do at that moment is parry and do counter it based on what kind of character you play. But let's go Let's go into the training mode and see how this game actually supposed to be played. Because there's a lot of different... Layers is we'll do tutorial mode. We'll do the complete tutorial mode so y'all can see this. We'll do everything, all the sections. Let's let's see what we got here. So this might be a long video. Movement. Only universal movement is forward and backwards. Left and right. Okay, every character has movement is different. Experiment with each. Movement. Let's do knockout. In order to win, you must first deplete your opponent's stamina, which is the gauge at the bottom, that little green gauge at the bottom. Um, deplete the gamma gauge, and then with the stamina gauge is full, then they knock out. It is important to know that which attack leads to knockdown in order to win. Cool. Pretty straightforward. Lesson three, blocking and defense. And blocking seems like by holding back, chips away as your, your stamina. Strong attack will chip away as stamina even while blocking. Okay, let's more attack power. There are two main attack types. 
Weak attacks and strong attacks. Weak attacks will generally deal half the stock. Which we see. See how it still deal half a stock? And then strong attacks. One. We use like usually faster upon safer options. Strong attacks are confident that will hit. And we see take like a whole bar. Lastly, what we got? Sometimes your opponent may enter armored state. Woo, what is this? While in armored state, only strong attacks can break through. Our weak attacks deal more damage to your opponent. Same room. Special attack. That's what we haven't done yet. Special attacks. How would that work? Every martial art has at least one or more special attacks. Whoa! That's my special attack. Did you notice how the lightning spark when the special attack connected? The spark symbolizes the untackable hit. Interesting! So they move their untackable. That's what I'm telling you. This game has layers to it. Opponent with what will be left unable to attack the fall. Cool. Untackable state is very useful for scaring victories. Lesson of Guard Crush Break. Unblockable attacks called in guard crush. Unbroken, broken guard work. So, lastly, the weakened state strong attacks are guard crushes. There we go. This is used for use against overly defensive players. Chromo Graw is very defensive stance in the game, by the way. More of a counter stance. Grab it. Like I said, everyone's different the way it works. So if you push the button that shows, that's when you can go. Press the wrong bit when grab from escaping. Oh, God. That's why you stay focused. Avoid random mashing. Yeah, this game you cannot mash. I learned that when I was playing with my friend earlier. You cannot mash this game at all. Recovery. While hitting the floor, perform a tech preventing a knockout. This is a kick I see. And it works just like in Smash. So like Smash players, you know the sound is like the moment you hit the ground at the right time. Let's say you have enough stamina. Parry. Oh, parry. Parent works just like Third Strike. They incorporate so many different games in there. I hope this game is at EVO. Like, with me going to EVO, if there's, a, if there's a tournament for the, I'll jump in it. I'm going to clearly jump in it. Everybody can, get, can save you. Execute. That's Perry, by the way. And it has to be precise. You can't match it out either. There you go. They will place you in advanced state. And when you're in advanced state, you got better frames, that sort of deal. The advantage is depending on how strong the incoming attack is. Essentially, you can give, get out of a bad situation. Master the mechanic most certainly as a skilled fighter. Cool. You get paired, but, but be wary. Your opponent can counter parry you. So basically, if you hit parry first and then hit parry after you, you can get counter parry. Lesson. So we basically went over grass, parry, expert tutorial. Did we do this one yet? This is the same one. Oh, so we, we did go over everything. We did, we did, because it went over there. Too. Yeah, so when we did the complete tutorial, that went over it. That was actually shorter than I thought. So that's basically everything to the game. Um, let's do some more matches, though. And I'll, I think I have a replay I can show you just to give you some insight how crazy these matches can be. This is a, a match between me and my friend I did earlier. And by the way, there's a save replay feature, so that's cool, too. Right, this, this is an example. Now this is human versus human match. Check this out. Amy shows the input. I play, look.
That's not blockable for me. I'm the boss right there. Oh, he got me with an untouchable state. See how crazy this game go? Now, granted, that's just one little match, but you can see just the, the just how crazy it can get. And there's a little bit in extra stuff with that too. So let's go. Let's go into some real stuff though. Actually, let's see this. It said dojo. It said trauma. Let's see the trauma real quick. Let's do. We've seen karate. We didn't see taekwondo yet. I didn't show y'all taekwondo. All trials, basic overview fence, basic combo. Let's do that one. That's crazy. That's cool. That's pretty straightforward. Basic combo. So there's a little, there's a little bit some stuff for everyone. But you gotta kind of figure out what you can or can't do. But let's do some more matches. And you know what's funny about this game? This is the one game I actually don't mind doing a mirror match. Let's give you a taste of what a mirror match looks like. Let's do combo raw versus combo raw. Let's change my color so we can distinguish us. And by the way, there's other arenas you can pick. You can pick care color, girl, boy, or girl. Depending on what character is. Some figures have boy and girl. Some people have afro, like the boxer. We'll do it in the dojo. And there are unlockable characters, too. There's also cool. I'll go Craw McGraw. Now, I haven't tried online mode yet, but so far, this game is That's how I can get on a high level. That's what it can look like. Now we're both even. Now I'm out. And that's how a round will go. Until that green gauge is gone, gone, and you're knocked down, the match is not done. So you can tend to have any number of rounds as long as you don't get not get a hard knockdown. Juggles. The corner juggles are crazy in this game. I wonder, you know what? There's a I think there's a CPU versus CPU mode. I wonder how it looks like from their end. Like on a I wonder if you put like, can you change the level how hard they are? 60 frames per second delay. No. Input there's a rules change. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see if there's an actual system. Okay, go back, dojo, replay, train, tutorial, bonus, bot versus bot, okay, here we go, let's see this on a high level, we'll do random, this, where's this, so we don't know who's gonna fight what, and we're gonna make sure they fight in the arena too, and then we'll put in the arena, oh, perfect. Let's see what happens. Now, this is bot versus bot. I'm not playing at all. Maybe you can see on high level what this looks like. Ooh. 
Well, I'm gonna grab my boxing. Yo, I hope boxing win. I went the, I went the weave. He's not weaving properly. Now the match is not done yet. Woo! Uh oh, here it goes. Grab command. That was it. That's a guessing game for Krav Maga too. We'll do one more. We will do one more. One more random with the with the box. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not supposed to do it. There we go. Different colors, whatever. You, you, go. And we'll do this in the arena. Let's go. What do we got? Muay Thai versus boxing. Boxing is going up. Already with the grab. Slow. This game can be played faster too. Ooh. I was getting close, Perry. And each character have like their own special build that makes them like distinguish. And there's some stuff that in the game that are kind of dumb, but it kind of makes you not want to match. You remember the game said don't match? Like if you pick the um the Kindle character has a parry, that's an instant kill. You get hit by it, but at the end of the day, it makes it so well, if you know that's an instant kill, I can't match because he can bring out that parry instead of time. But then if he parries, that frees him up from you doing something crazy too. So it can go both ways. It's kind of it's kind of an interesting take. I'll pick the Kindle part so you can see what I'm talking about, because this is kind of crazy. We'll do verses again, and I'll do try Survivor in our game. Kindle. We've seen too much boxing. We have a new Shotokan. Yet. The actual Shotokan. Not what y'all think is Shotokan, which I've been over for a long time. I'm glad this game actually could distinguish what Shotokan actually is. And the sounds are really getting good, by the way. There's the instant kill. Oh, he he tapped out of it. There it is. Ooh! And we unlocked a new stage tip. Oh, that, that look at you scenario, that actually is for something. So in this game, this game actually goes up to four players. I meant to mention that earlier. Actual four players. I don't know if we're going to get the four player to work on this scenario, but let's do some options. I'll do it with my boy, uh, Boxing News. Shuffle. And the temple's a new stage that we'll play on it. And you unlock new colors and everything. Oh, by the way, this game has been confirmed for workshop support also. You're out. That's all someone you can't match him. That's what well, that was survival mode we're under. Let's try arcade. Let's try with Taekwondo. We don't do a lot of this one. Oh, what 
the Jang Nation color. Let's go. Not the double knee juggle. Unlock new stage bridge two. Let's try one more time. We'll do it with karate. By the way, they can get behind you, as you can see now. So you have to physically tell the game to turn around. Ooh! To turn around. Can't protect this now. Ooh! Uh-oh, we're not done yet. He is holding on by a thread. Oh, he gains one back for surviving that. I didn't know that. There we go. Non-tech state. That was quick. That grab is crazy. Oh, the double knee would have killed me. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't challenge it properly. Like I said, this game is hard, but it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. But that's Dojo Masters for you. It's cool. There's lots of unlockables, and then based on the way the slots are like they're putting either more characters in DLC or maybe it's unlockable. Okay, right now we know there's unlockable colors in stages, so it'd be cool to see some unlockable characters, see some other styles of fight, like maybe like wrestling style or maybe even like um like sumo style. That will fit this game really well, especially the sumo style. So I can only imagine like that judo, jet can do like there could be a there could if they do it right, it'll be fun. But I hope y'all enjoy fighting games. Like I said, I'll see you tomorrow when I try to do the vlog starts for Evo. I'm, I'm I guess I'm leaving around two to get to the airport. So to be the airport by two. So after all that, the luggage claim and stuff, we'll we'll talk and stuff. But I hope y'all stay. Have a great day. Y'all stay salty. Y'all let me know what you think. By the way, this game is only twelve dollars on sale right now. So check it out. Peace.